Hello, Pewter people. Scott Reynolds here with another Pewter Pulse. Is Mike Evans the greatest Buccaneer of all time? Well, that's what NFL Network's Kyle Brandt had to say on Good Morning Football this week. We know that Evans is the greatest offensive player in Tampa Bay history, and he'll be the first Bucs offensive player to make the Hall of Fame, possibly as a first ballot inductee after he retires. But is he better than some of the other Bucks legends and Hall of Famers? Is Mike Evans truly? the best player in franchise history. I'll get to that in just a moment. But first, your reminder to hit the thumbs up, give us a like, as well as leave a comment. I love reading the comments and doing those two things helps us with the YouTube algorithm, gets us in front of more awesome Bucks fans just like you. This is a tough Tampa Bay topic, but I am here to tackle it. So there is no doubt that Mike Evans is one of the greatest players in Bucks history. I've gone on record as saying that he'll replace Leroy Selman on my Bucks Mount Rushmore as one of the four greatest players in Tampa Bay. Joining the likes of Warren Sapp, Derek Brooks, and Ronnie Barber when Evans is inducted into the Hall of Fame in the not-so-distant future. The reason why Selman is replaced, in my opinion, is because Sapp and Brooks are in his class as defensive players. All three have won Defensive Player of the Year awards, but Sapp and Brooks have also won a Super Bowl, as did Mike Evans. Those are two pinnacles in the NFL, winning a Super Bowl and being inducted into the Hall of Fame. Now, including Mike Evans, all four of my Bucks Mount Rushmore members would meet those qualifications. Even though Rondé Barber didn't win an NFL Defensive Player of the Year award, he did something Selman didn't do, which was set an NFL record. His 47 career interceptions and 28 sacks puts him in elite company as the only member of the 45-25 club. Barber was the prototype nickel cornerback on obvious passing downs, but he also played outside cornerback. He never came off the field, and he also had a signature play. The greatest play in franchise history, his 92-yard pick six against the Eagles that shut down the vet and sent the Bucs to their first ever Super Bowl. Now, Evans has an NFL record 10 1,000-yard seasons. That's his singular accomplishment that puts him in Barber's class. Ironically, both Barber and Evans have five Pro Bowls on their resume, as well as a pair of second-team All-Pro selections. But Barber, who played 16 years in Tampa Bay, longer than any other Buccaneer, also has three first-team All-Pro berths on his football card. Barber led the league in interceptions in 2001 and is a member of the NFL's 2000s all-decade team. So as of right now, I'd have a hard time saying Evans is a better Buccaneer than Barber. Let's talk about Derek Brooks. Derek Brooks is the most decorated Buccaneer of all time. He made 11 Pro Bowls, 11, in his 14 years in Tampa Bay, including five first-team All-Pros and four second-team All-Pros. He was the NFL solo tackle leader three times and was the 2002 NFL Defensive Player of the Year, plus his signature moment was his pick six in Super Bowl 37 that wound up being the dagger for the Raiders in the second half. Brooks was also on the 2000s All-Decade team and on the NFL's 100th anniversary All-Time team. Has Evans accomplished more than Brooks within the Tampa Bay franchise? I don't think you can make that argument right now. Now let's talk about Warren Sapp. Unlike Barber and Brooks, and perhaps Evans, Warren Sapp was not a Buccaneer lifer. He played in Tampa Bay for the first nine seasons of his career and then spent the last four years in Oakland with the Raiders. But during his time in Tampa Bay, he was the 1999 NFL Defensive Player of the Year Award winner. He was a seven-time Pro Bowler and was a four-time first-team All-Pro and a two-time second-team All-Pro. He's the only Buccaneer to be a member of two NFL All-Decade teams in the 1990s and in the 2000s. Sapp also had a, a sack in his Super Bowl appearance, and he and Brooks helped turn their franchise around in the Tony Dungy years in the late 1990s. Now, there's no doubt that Mike Evans is the greatest offensive player in franchise history, but if you're starting an NFL team and you had the first pick of any Buccaneer in team history, would you use it on a wide receiver and build your team around that player or a defensive tackle? It's just so much harder to find 
an elite defensive tackle than it is an elite wide receiver. This was true back in the 1990s when Sapp played, and it still rings true today in terms of positional importance. Elite defensive tackles like Warren Sapp, like Chicago's Richard Dent, a Hall of Famer, another Hall of Famer, Minnesota's John Randall, and L.A. Rams legend Aaron Donald, those types of players have to take precedence. Throw in Sapp's alpha leadership ability, and I would draft Sapp over Evans if I was starting a franchise. I might even draft Brooks or Barber over Evans at this point. But it's important to note that Evans is still playing, and he's still writing his story. There is still history to be made and milestones to achieve. For example, if Evans were to tie or break Jerry Rice's all-time 1,000-yard season record of 14, that would certainly bolster Evans' case. Right now, he's second and tied for a second with Randy Moss at 10. If he has another 1,000-yard season this year, that'll be 11, and he'll be in sole possession of second place. Also, if Evans moves into the top 10 all-time receiving yardage list, that would put him on par with Brooks, who was also in a top 10 list of all-time NFL tackles. He has the sixth most with 1,713 tackles. And keep in mind, Ronnie Barber is not in the top 10 when it comes to interceptions, nor is Sapp in the top 10 when it comes to sacks. So that would greatly help Evans' cause. Recency bias is real, and it skews the argument towards Evans. I get that. Some Bucks fans were just too young to remember just how great and dominant Brooks and Barber and Sapp were. But I walked in the door with Sapp and Brooks in 1995, and that's when I began my first year covering the Buccaneers. I've covered every single minute of their careers and Barbara's career, which started in 1997, and, of course, Mike Evans' career, which started in 2014. I've thought long and hard about this. I can't say Evans is the greatest Buccaneer just yet, but, again, he's still writing his story. But there is one thing that can really help turn the tide in Evans' favor and help him surpass some of these original Bucks legends, another Super Bowl championship. If Evans gets a second ring, that just may put him at the top of my Bucks Mount Rushmore list. Nobody else has done that. Nobody else does Buccaneer covers the way Pewter Report does. So for more Pewter Pulse episodes, other great Bucks video content, like our Pewter Report podcasts and pregame shows and Pewter Game Day shows, make sure you visit and subscribe to Pewter Report TV. Follow us on X, Facebook, and Instagram at Pewter Report and visit pewterreport.com for all the Bucks. Game coverage, injury reports, breaking news and transactions, and I'll be back soon with a new Pewter Pulse.